look at that rose. I got that rose for Anastasia. And now she's in here. But at least I still have that rose. That reminds me of her. I don't know how that rose is still fucking alive. What's up? Today was a good day. Um, I actually really like today's kind of structure of my day, I guess. Got up at 7. Had a, you know, good morning. Went out with the doggy. And had a nice cold shower. I stepped into the ice cold shower. Um, which is, you know, which I'm, <laughs> I'm very proud of. I mean, that takes a lot, you know. Like, that's, that's hard, you know. And um, I would say not a lot of people can do it. But, you know, the fact that. I did it, it's um, pretty impressive, I would say, yeah. That's the highlight of the day. Um, no, so, after that, I did like four or five hours of work for Project 33. Um, some client stuff, and um, that actually felt really good. I, I enjoyed doing that, I had fun doing that. It felt, you know, productive and efficient and you know, just crossing things off the to-do list. Um, and then after that, I just allowed myself to, you know, just read and, um, you know, read and listen to stuff that really just piques my interest, nothing that's, like, useful. Um, and I just went down the rabbit hole and I ended up, you know, reading some Jordan Peterson and some Ray Dalio and some Tim Ferriss and, you know... Um, looked into menstruation, no menstruation, menstruation, the thing where women bleed, the period, learned some things about that and just, you know, just learned about whatever seemed interesting and that was very rewarding too and I think kind of like first having that part where I got some things off the to-do list that were like kind of, you know, maintaining work and, you know, the business stuff side of things that allowed me to also just fully focus on, you know, just learning whatever I wanted to learn. So that was a good split. And, um, you know, I'm just, I guess why I'm like talking about this is just to kind of myself have kind of a recap mental picture of what a good day looks like. Comparing it to, for example, yesterday, um, I didn't feel so good. Um, like I felt you know, like, I was kind of restless at the end of the day. And yesterday, for example, Sunday, I basically dedicated all day to just reading and learning. Um, and maybe, that's why I'm recapping is it, um, only reading and kind of like learning and, and consuming, you know, stuff that piques my interest all day doesn't work for me because, you know, it makes me feel kind of like as if I didn't do anything, I didn't produce anything during the day. So having that initial period where, you know, I worked on things um, and then having that other part where I learned um, might be, you know, maybe the right balance for me. Um, I guess, and I had a call with Eduardo who um, actually reached out to me via Instagram and he offered to work for me for free. And um, we started to have more and more calls um and um yeah we had a beautiful you know i think one and a half hour call and i realized that that call was one of the internally motivated things like i got i had more energy after that call than i had before that energy before that I had more energy after the call than before the call um which is you know that's what you want like you want things you want to do things and work on things that energize you like what are things that after finishing the task you actually feel like you have more energy compared to when you started on the task because that's the only sustainable thing right like what are those things that energize you like what are those people who are those people that energize you um so that's a good sign. Um, and I guess I'm kind of like transitioning Project 33 from like the only thing, the main thing, to kind of like a side project. A side project that I want to optimize towards both generating revenue for me because I need to pay the bills, I need to, you know, pay rent and buy food and all of these things. Um, 
and at the same time teach me skills that um, that compound over time so you know things like learning how to sell learning how to market learning how to you know acquire clients learn to learn how to establish processes uh, learn to how to hire people and you know communicate to people and um, all of these things are compoundable skills because even if I decide to end project 33 or start a new project or fade out or fade in anything else like I can take those over into the next thing and they will make the next thing even better so I guess those two things I want to optimize project 33 towards um, help me learn compoundable skills and create revenue for me to make a living um, and yeah I guess that's kind of the recap of the day um, I also realized how much joy Anastasia my girlfriend brings to my life it's um, um, I mean obviously I miss her I miss her a lot a lot a lot um, I'm still having a great time, you know, I'm really enjoying, um, myself being alone. Um, I mean, part of it is also because we're still, you know, communicating and texting and sending photos and videos. So it's that, and I don't want to feel bad about, you know, having a good time when not with her, but I also realize how much of an addition she is to my life. And this is only after like five days and um, yeah she is she's a beautiful thing that happened to my life and uh, I really really enjoy just being around her and with her and spending time with her and the conversations oh my god I wish you guys could you know be part of our conversations because those are they are incredible um, but yeah Anyway, that's it for the vlog. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot. But why now? Holy shit, I just wanna make it.